I'm Captain Trisha. I go by Drift. I'm a U-2 pilot here at Beeler Force Base. And the intelligence I gather with the U-2 helps further our information warfare mission. The U-2 has been conducting ISR missions for the last 68 years, providing intelligence to decision makers to ensure that they have everything they need in today's information environment. The U-2 has been conducting ISR missions for the last 68 years, and we've been providing intelligence to the nation's decision makers, ensuring that they have the best information in today's information environment. Being a female in today's Air Force is a unique and, and fun experience. Um, I've had so many females come before me that have, have just opened so many doors. Um, I am only the 11th female to fly this airplane, but um, we're still looking for our 12th. The girls do everything just as well as the guys do out here. So some of like the things that I've, I've come across is that um, I've noticed that I and, and the other females have to be a little bit more confident. Um, when you show your confidence, you can do anything. And sometimes the guys need to be reminded that, that females are just as confident as they are. Um, so it, it hasn't really been too much of an issue for me because I know that I have to just come in and say, I know what I'm doing. I think the best thing about being here is that every single person is here because we chose them. And once you prove yourself, there's no questioning that. Um, we all work hard to be where we are. And uh, just because I'm a female doesn't make me any different than the next guy I'm going to go put up in my U2. Um, being a pilot is just about what you know and how confident you are and not necessarily your gender or anything else. So anyone can do it. Um, you just have to believe in yourself. Do it. There's no better opportunity than to be a pilot in the Air Force. The, the places I've gotten to go, the things I've gotten to see, especially above 70,000 feet in this bird behind me, uh, it's just incredible. And there's nowhere else you can do it. Having a STEM background as a pilot has helped me understand a lot of the terms that we've, we were taught during uh, pilot training. It's helped me understand how the plane works a little bit more. Um, it helps me do math a little bit quicker uh, when we're flying. Uh, there's not too much of it, but there's enough. Um, and it, it's really just helped me appreciate the engineering behind uh, the, the airplanes that we fly. Um, Kelly Johnson made the U-2, and this is still one of the, the greatest creations that I've ever seen. Um, there's no other plane that whose wheels fall off when you take off. Um, we're the only bicycle gear uh, tail left in the Air Force. Um, there, there's a lot of really cool things, and, and when we take off, you know, we're the we're the highest people on Earth. Technology. Yeah, so I think one of the, the coolest things, you know, one of my, my biggest dreams was I really wanted to design airplanes. And um, it's kind of like designing a car. You wouldn't design a car if you couldn't drive one. Um, so my goal was to get an engineering degree and, uh, and then go fly airplanes so that I could one day later go back and design them. Um, it's helped me, uh, having a STEM degree has helped me understand emergencies a little bit better, understand how the plane works a little bit better. Um, and, and really has uh, made me more creative and more innovative uh, than I would ever dream to be. The core values are something that uh, we embody every day and being a pilot especially, if we don't have those things, the plane's not gonna get off the ground. Someone can get hurt. Um, and, and nothing will be done the right way. So uh, being able to trust everyone that touches the airplane, touches my suit, touches uh, me, has instructed me, and, and knowing that they have those core values is, is really important. Um, one of the core values that is really important to me is, is uh, integrity first, especially because um, we're humans and we're gonna make mistakes, but if we hide those and we don't uh, speak up uh, we can we can really hurt somebody like if if one of my maintainers realized that you know he left a screwdriver or something um, and he just hides that at the at the 
next point it could be something that is catastrophic. Or um, as a pilot, if I didn't turn on something or um, missed a switch or a step and somehow broke a sensor, like not owning up to that uh, doesn't allow us to create better processes for later.